welcome back to the channel. So I thought today I would get some cookies made and put in the freezer. It's so nice to just be able to pop them out of the freezer, put them in the oven and have cookies to go, especially at Christmas time. You take neighbor goodies around and ministering sister goodies, whatever you do. Um, and then there's always someone you forget by accident. And so you need to take them some stuff. And it's just so easy to have the cookies all made up and in the freezer. But I am going to make this called Doan's Big Batch of Cookies. So if you know Jenny Doan, she's from the Missouri Star Quilt Company. I love the Missouri Star Quilt Company. And here a couple of years ago, I subscribed and was in their um, the 25 Days of Christmas. Anyway, you got something each day in a box for Christmas that you got to unwrap. It was Jenny's favorite things. And we got a little spatula and, and this recipe and it's the big batch. Stop it. So I got the recipe out and I'm like, big batch? Oh, it doesn't sound too big. You know, two cups of shortening, four cups of sugar, four cups of brown sugar, eight eggs. And I'm like, okay, that's pretty big. And then I'm like, oh, seven and a half cups of flour, but then six cups of oats. <laughs> so it really is a big batch. So. That's kind of cool. So let's get this made. So I have two cups of shortening in the Bosch. This is crazy. I hope this doesn't kill my Bosch. It's massive. So two cups of shortening is in there and two cups of margarine. Wow. Four cups of sugar, four cups of brown sugar and eight eggs. So let's get that mixing up. Let's see how that does. Four teaspoons of vanilla. Just about time to break into the other vanilla. mentioned it before in other videos but about 45 years old still going strong okay now we're going to add seven and a half cups of flour first we're going to do half of it then we're going to add the baking powder, whatever it calls for, two, three. I don't think this is going to fit in there. Four, five. I mean, they weren't kidding when they said big batch. There's the half a cup. So we have two more put in to put in of flour. Four teaspoons of baking soda. Poor old Bosch handles this. All right, let's add the other two cups of flour. Goodness sakes. Of course, I can't do anything without making a mess. take it out of there to stir in the oats. <laughs> Let's stir this down. 
down. Scrape it down, I guess I should say. I think we're going to have a lot of cookies here. got my big pan. We're going to have to transfer this. That is one big batch. Confetti chips. Okay, I'm gonna finish mixing this up, heat up the oven, and let's bake a, a pan of them and see how they taste. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm getting them on the pan. We're gonna pop them in the oven for about 10 minutes. And while they're baking, I'm gonna clean this mess up and get ready to start on the next batch. And then I'm going to put this out in the garage, it's pretty cold out there, and let it cool for a few hours and then I will bring it back in. And I don't know if I'll make it into logs because it's easy just to cut or roll it. Anyway, let's bake these, clean up, and I'll be back. Okay, they're out of the oven. Let's get them off the pan. Smell yummy. OK, 
Okay, let's give these a try. Mmm, super good. Okay, well. Be back when we put them in the freezer, and then on to the next batch of cookies. Okay, they have cooled for a while in the cool garage. Now you could um, scoop these out and roll them in balls. Forget that. That takes too much time. So I put them in logs, and then you can just cut that log open or. Cut the package open when you get it out of the freezer. Let them thaw for a few minutes. Slice it up. Boom, however thick you want them. They do spread quite a bit, so wouldn't do them too thick. Roll them up. Some parchment paper. Yeah, maybe I'll tape that and then wrap them in plastic. And I'll bring you back and show, show you how many logs I came up with. Okay, they're all done. I got five roll logs. I think each one should do about 16 cookies. Plus I baked 12. And I had a little bit of dough left over, so I'm gonna make these little thumbprint cookies. So. That was a huge batch of cookies. Super excited, they're yummy. First time I've ever made them, but this is how I'm gonna freeze them. I am not gonna roll balls out till doomsday. So this is my preferred way of doing it. Slice them off and just lay them on the pans and cook them up and they're great. So hopefully I can do one more cookie recipe tonight. I may have to wait until tomorrow because I've got to make dinner and I've got a party to go to. So anyway, I'll be back for the next cookie recipe. Okay, so <laughs> I finished the last cookie recipe yesterday and then I had to make rice for our award party. Anyway, so it's the next day, but let's make our ranger cookies. And I am gonna double the batch. So in my mixer, I've got two cups of brown sugar two cups of white sugar, and two cups of butter, two teaspoons of vanilla, two teaspoons of salt, and four eggs. So let's get those. Oh my gosh, what's wrong? Oh, that's not on there all the way. sides in the middle down. four cups of flour. Teaspoon of baking powder. Two teaspoons of baking soda.
turn that off. Two cups of rolled oats. crispy cereal. Butterscotch chips. I probably shouldn't have done a double batch in there. Okay, now we have to let this sit in a cold fridge or in the garage is good because it's really cold out there. It's not really cold, but anyway, so cover and refrigerate for 30 minutes and then we'll come back and bake a couple of batches and the rest we're gonna freeze. I'll be right back. Okay, these have been sitting in the fridge for half an hour. I'm gonna get, get them in the oven. I'm only baking two pans full, so my husband can take some with him to work. And then I'm gonna put the rest in logs and put them in the freezer so I have cookies made ahead. Love doing this, love, love, love. So I'll bring you back quick when we're tasting them. Okay, I'll show you how I do this. Just kind of shape it into a log to where you have the size of cookies you want to cut out. Get a little more on here. You know what I should have done? I should have written what they were. But we really don't care when we make a cookie. So if you make a whole bunch, you might want to write on that butcher paper before you put it in the freezer. So I have one more roll to do, and then we'll get the cookies out of the oven. Okay, first batch is done and out. And let's give it a try. They kind of spread out a lot. Maybe I didn't let them 
sit long enough in the fridge. They're so good. And that crispy rice cereal in there is fun. This is another great recipe where you could add anything you want. Craisins. You could put some pieces of Hershey bars in there. You could cut up um, Reese's peanut butter cups. Delicious. Coconut, sky's the limit. Anyway, I hope for Christmas you get some cookies in the freezer and make your life a little easier. Hope you all have a great day and I hope you all be kind and spread sunshine. Thanks guys, bye.